Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins. Today is February the 21st. And our scripture today is going to come from Psalm 24 and 1 from the New International Version as we continue to pray about God's provision for us along our journey. Psalm 24 and 1 from the New International Version says, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Today, we want to go to God with a heart of thanksgiving, an attitude of thanksgiving, and we want to thank God that the earth belongs to him, and we want to thank God that we belong to him. And that means if God's, uh, if we belong to God and the earth belongs to God, God is still in control. So let's thank him for that today as we go to the Lord in prayer. Lord God, thank you for the privilege and the opportunity to pray to you today. Thank you that you are our heavenly father. Thank you that we are your children. Thank you that you've called us to pray. Thank you that you've commanded us to pray. You said that men and women ought to always pray. Thank you for your word, which guides us in our prayer time. Thank you that you've called us and said, call on me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. Thank you that here in your word, we see that the earth belongs to you, Lord, and that everything in it, the world and those of us who even live in it. And so, God, when things seem out of control, thank you for reminding us that you are still in control. Lord, thank you that you still sit on the throne that as dictators come and go, as presidents come and go, as authority figures come and go, as leaders come and go, God, you are the one thing that remains constant. You are God today. You have been God yesterday and you'll be God forevermore. For you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. That you are God who does not change. And thank you, Lord, that don't not only are do you not change, but you are always in control for this earth is yours and the fullness thereof and we who dwell therein. Lord, thank you for reminding us that we belong to you, that we've been created by you, that we have been bought with a price, that Jesus Christ and his sacrifice on Calvary, his blood that was shed and his life that was given up. It was done as a purchase price for the sins that we committed. Thank you for purchasing and redeeming us with the blood of Jesus. Thank you that we belong to you, Lord, through the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And thank you that our life is not our own. And thank you that we're not in control of it, but you are. Thank you that as our Lord, you've given us commandments. You've given us your word. You've given us your principles and precepts which to live by. For, Lord, we don't always know what to do and when to do it and how to do it and where to do it. But you give us your direction through your word because you love us that much because we belong to you. Lord, you know how this world works because it belongs to you. You know how things in this earth work because it belongs to you. So, Lord, let us lay aside our own wisdom and our own thoughts and our own ways and bow to you. Lord, let us humble ourselves before you. Lord, let us lay our situations before you, knowing that you have wisdom, God, that you can give us the right answers and what to do and when to do it and how to do it, because all of this, God, belongs to you and you are in control. God, forgive us when we've tried to put our hands on it and control it, when we've tried to put our thoughts on it and think our way through it, when we've tried to muscle our way through situations and we've not submitted to you and said, Lord, not my will, but your will be done in this world. Lord, you are our God. Lord, you are our Savior. You are the lover of our souls. And so we recommit ourselves to you. We resubmit ourselves to you. We come up under your mission for our lives. And we know, God, you have plans to, to prosper us, plans to bless us, plans to bring us into our destinies plans to bless us along our journeys, plans to provide for us in our times of need. So we trust you, Lord, today. We recommit our lives to you today. We recommit our thought life to you today because the earth belongs to you. The world belongs to you and we belong to you. And so we submit ourselves up under your authority and up under your love for our life today. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 
Amen. Listen, be victorious today. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. That's Psalm 24 and 1. And that means that God is in control. Trust him because he knows what to do with the life that we live in him. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you. Be blessed. God bless.